For over 67 years, world-renowned evangelist Morris Cirillo has traveled the globe, winning souls for the kingdom and glory of God. Now, direct from his San Diego headquarters, Morris Cirillo brings you victory today. This new, powerful, prophetic program will help you receive spiritual and financial breakthrough and no unanswered prayer. Isn't it time to step into your end-time destiny? Evil. Come on! Come on! is a fact, but faith is an act. Be strong. There is a power so strong, it makes the rulers tremble. Do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. Walk in faith and victory. Walk in faith and victory. For the Lord, my God. There's an It's awesome. It's like liquid fire. Beloved, welcome to Victory Today. Yesterday, we had an incredible time on the Victory program. I started one of the most important messages I could ever give to you so that God will give you 100% victory over 100% of the enemy, 100% of the time. Are you ready for that manifestation? It's called the strategies of Satan. And I'm going to take you through nine strategies of Satan day by day over the next period of time until God gives to you complete deliverance over every strategy that the enemy has developed. Remember this, the God that you and I serve is a God of incredible plan, design, and purpose. But Satan is an imitator. And so he takes what God's strategies are and he uses them by deceit to cause those strategies of God to be broken over your life. We're going to get to the strategies of Jesus once after we finish with the strategies of Satan. The first strategy that Satan has is he tries to keep every Christian in spiritual ignorance. Satan's strategy is to keep you from knowing because knowing is one of the most powerful influences you can have inside your spirit. Satan tries to hold you in a helpless state of spiritual ignorance. He will do everything possible to stop you from knowing the truth. Why? Because the Bible says you're going to know the truth and the truth is what is going to set you free. So Satan tries to stop you from knowing the truth. He would stop you from everything he possibly could on the victory telecast to stop you from standing by day by day and letting this word of God cause you to have complete victory. He wants to stop you from knowing your position. Somebody say with me on the telecast today, I am going to know my position. What position am I going to know? I'm going to know the position of power. Remember what Jesus said after he came out of the grave before he went back to his father? He said, all power is given unto me and I give it unto you, and you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost comes on you. You have a position of power. You have a position of authority, and it's over Satan, and it is your inheritance as a child of God. Jesus himself 
was manifested by God. Remember 1 John 3, 8? For this purpose, the Son of God was made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. Jesus was manifested. Jesus came to this earth. God sent him here for this purpose to destroy the works of the devil. When he died on the cross, he took power. He took authority over the earth, away from Satan. Did you hear that? And when he took it away from Satan, what did he do? He gave it to you. He gave you the power to defeat Satan, to defeat all of his attacks. Now, you've got your notebook down along your side. And remember, we're writing these scriptures down because when the program is over, you're going to go into the word of God and you're going to look at these scriptures. Hebrews 2, 14. This is what it says. For as much then as the children children of God are partakers of flesh and blood. Christ himself likewise took part of the same nature that through death, that when he would die, when he would pay the price, when he would give his life, he would destroy him who? The devil that had the power of death today Satan desperately tries to keep that defeat that Jesus did when he died on that cross and when he paid the price and when he was buried in the grave and when he came forth out of the grave and he stood face to face with the devil and took back from him the keys of the kingdom, Satan desperately tries to keep that defeat that he is defeated, that God sent Jesus here for this purpose, 1 John 3, 8, to destroy the power of the devil. Satan simply does not want the church to know that he is powerless. Come on, can you say that with me? I know that Satan is powerless over my life. Satan doesn't want the church to know this. He doesn't want to know that through the death of Jesus Christ on the cross, that now you have the power. Satan doesn't have it. He knows that he knows that he knows that he knows. You say, Brother Srilo, what does the devil know that he knows? He knows that we know that he knows that he does not have the power. He knows we have it. Write down Luke 10, 19. What does Jesus say? Behold, I give unto you. Who is he giving it to? Come on, can you stretch your hands out to the TV set? while God is giving you this incredible breakthrough today? And can you say, I have received the power? Luke 10, 19, behold, I give unto you power. To do what? To tread on serpents, to tread on scorpions. Now listen to this. And over all the power of the enemy. Can you say all? Not 10%, not 20%, not 50%. But I tell you today on the Victory Telecast, you're not sitting there watching this program by accident, but God has you there because he wants to give you impartation. He wants you to know that you have all power over all the power of the enemy. The devil's only hope is to lure us into an eternity of hell. How? By keeping the church functioning in a state of perpetual spiritual ignorance. Remember the first strategy? 
keep Christians in spiritual ignorance. What does the Bible say? It tells us that God's people are destroyed because of a lack of knowledge. To implement this strategy of spiritual ignorance, one of the major lies that Satan has planted in the body of Christ. And I have this incredible gift that I'm going to release to you today. It's called Strategies of Satan. How to arm yourself for victory. How to confront the enemy. How to know, how to discover. You are going to know the truth and the truth is going to set you free. That lie of Satan that he's planted in the body of Christ is to perpetuate a false fear Say this with me, false fear. Say it again. It's coming on that screen in large, bold letters. False fear. You know what? The Bible tells us that God did not give us the spirit of fear. Then if we fear, where did it come from? It's a false fear. Many Christians have this false fear concerning purported power of the devil. He's distorted. He's embellished on his horns and his little pitchfork image. He causes many to see him as more powerful than he really is. He deceits. He lies. He keeps us in spiritual ignorance, but God is going to come today and set you free. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is right here now. No more false fear. Say it. No more false fear. Much of the body of Christ. And that's why this message is so important. And that's why we're going to continue it on the Victory Telecast day after day until we get through with all of these nine strategies and we receive the incredible breakthrough of the Holy Spirit to where these strategies of Satan will never again have power, never again have authority over us. How many in the body of Christ still cling to this incredible image of the devil. He's portrayed as the exorcist. He's gotten an image in the world. And you look at him as one that is so powerful that he can freely, remember the exorcist? Torch people around in the rooms, twist the innocent heads of little girls, toss the praying ministers out of windows. These pathetic, false depictions are nothing more than lies. Somebody say, the devil is a liar. This is how God describes Satan. Write it down, 1 Peter 5, 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, he goes around as a roaring lion, walking about, seeking who he can devour. The devil wants you to think he is vicious. The devil wants you to think he's comparable to a roaring lion. But notice carefully, the words of this passage. The scripture here does not say he is a roaring lion, but only that he makes the noise of a roaring lion. He functions under deceit as a roaring lion. It's completely different than actually being a roaring lion. The devil is not a powerful lion. It's time for you and I to strip 
the mask off of Satan. He has no power. He has no strength. And I tell you, as a child of God, he has absolutely no power and no authority over you. Oh, he can make a lot of noise. He can hope that your false fear will overtake you. And then you'll attribute to him power that he no longer has. Can you recognize this in your life? How many times have you confronted false fear, thinking that the enemy was so strong and so powerful and that he was directing your life with defeat? But here's the key. Here's the spiritual fact that we have to grasp firmly. It's the key of spiritual truth. The devil doesn't have dominion over earth. Now, wait a minute. I know that many people think that the devil rules this earth. He doesn't have dominion. I want us to go to the Gospel of St. Luke. It's so important. The fourth chapter, and we're going to read the sixth and the seventh verses. I'm going to put it on the screen for you. All this power, Satan speaking, will I give thee. Now remember, what is Satan? He's a liar. What is one of the first strategies? Is to keep us in spiritual ignorance and two, to make us believe he has unlimited power. Now this is Satan speaking. All this power, I'm going to give it to you. All the glory of this power, it's delivered unto me. See the lie that he begins to tell? And to whomsoever I will give it. Only you have to do one thing. Bow down. Worship me. And everything is going to be yours. But you see, Jesus knew that Satan was a liar. He knew that God never relinquished the control of this earth to Satan. And he knew that God, his father, would never do this. I want you to hear the prophet of God on this critical truth today. There is not one verse in the entire word of God that indicates that the earth was ever given over into Satan's evil hands. But many of you watching me today have come under this lie of the enemy. But we're going to break this lie of the enemy over your life. Satan is not in control of your life. Satan is not in control of the earth. Your Lord and mine, Jesus, through his death, through his resurrection, destroyed the works of the devil. One more scripture today. Are you ready? Write it down. Ephesians 1, 21 through 23. What is the exceeding greatness of this power? To us, who's this power to? It's to you who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought, which he Accomplish, which he did in Christ. You know when this happened? Let's continue the scripture. When Christ died, was buried in the grave, Satan thought that he had won the victory over him, but he didn't know that when Christ died, God raised him from the dead and that resurrection was the victory over all of Satan's power he set Jesus at his own right hand in heavenly places now watch this far above say it above say it all principality say it all power say it all might say it all dominion say it and every name that is named, not only 
in this world, but also in that which is to come. Now, what happened? Are you ready for this? I, I'm not so sure. This is so powerful. This is so victorious. This is going to set you on a different spiritual plane than you've ever experienced before. God did what? He put all things under Jesus' feet. He gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is the body of Christ, which is the fullness of him that filleth all in all. Beloved, God's word declares that you and I have been placed over every principality. Can you see yourself right now? You've been given power that you might totally have dominion over this world. The power that was once in Christ's hands, get it right now has been transferred to us. Say it with me. The power that was once in Christ's hands has been transferred to me. Please confess it. Remember what I keep telling you? With the heart, man believes. But with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Confess it right now through Jesus I have received all power over all the power of the enemy. Tomorrow, on victory, we're going to continue the message on the strategies of Satan. One of the most strategic lies that Satan has perpetrated concerning himself is that the earth is his kingdom and that he has unlimited power, and that he is in control. Are you ready for this? Tomorrow, I'm going to walk with you into a territory of Satan. And then we're going to come against this incredible power of his. Don't miss the victory telecast tomorrow. And remember, as we go off the air today, my very special gift, that I have for you as we're going into the strategies of Satan is to put this incredible book in your hand. Just a little small book, about 30, 40, 50 pages. You can read it at one time. Strategy number one, number two, number three, number four, all of these strategies I write here in the book and tell you how to come against each one of these and receive 100% victory over 100% of the enemy. 100% of the time. I want you to say this with me. Now, now, come on, lift your hand up and rejoice. Get happy. Say it. Now is my time to receive victory over all the strategies of Satan. And then I'm going to combine with this book, The Strategies of Jesus. Because when I get through teaching on the strategies of Satan, I'm going to tape you every day on the victory telecast into The Strategies of Jesus. It's from my Elijah Institute, How to Defeat Satan. Training Elishas. You're going to be trained. You're going to become an Elisha who has become an Elijah. Are you ready for God to do that for you? These two incredible little books can change your life forever, bring you into a victorious position with Christ, the same that he experienced. Now, I want you to get on the phone. There's a little phone number right now. It's a toll-free number. Call it right now and say to my telephone minister, I want the strategies of Satan. I want the strategies of Jesus. Send it out to me today. I'll send it to you for whatever love gift 
God will enable you to give for the support, not only of the Victory Telecast, but most of all, as I go to the nations of the world. I'm going to be going to so many incredible nations every year, over 100,000 miles, over 50 nations in the world in one year. And your support helps Brother Srila to go and to continue to build God an army. Well, are you ready to walk with me into a territory of Satan? Are you ready tomorrow to come against his power? Don't miss it. Please tell a friend about victory. I love you with all my heart. I'll see you tomorrow for another victorious victory. Today, Satan is busy launching an all-out attack upon true believers. He is using every strategy to bring confusion to the body of Christ. Now is the time to arm yourself with two powerful books prepared just for you by Morris Arulo that offer the spiritual knowledge and resources needed to confront and win the war over the enemy. In this book, Strategies of Satan, Morris Cerullo reveals the nine strategies Satan uses in his attempt to defeat you right now. How he tries to keep you in spiritual ignorance, makes you believe he is more powerful than Christians, and strategies of deception and disobedience. This book will help once and for all crush Satan and put him where he belongs under your feet in every circumstance. Also, in this special love gift, Strategies of Jesus, learn to defeat Satan with targeted training, direct from Morris Cirillo's Elijah Institute. Discover how Jesus confronted Satan and defeated him through the might of God's Word. Understand that you are invincible through the power of the Word and learn how to drive Satan out by speaking the Word. This is your time to act. Pick up the phone and call now. The only way to defeat Satan is to recognize his battle strategy. These two books, Strategies of Satan and Strategies of Jesus, give you the spiritual armor needed to stand in 100% victory. These are Brother Cirillo's love gifts to you when you sow your love gift of any amount into the ministry. Call now and ask for TV Offer 6054. That's TV Offer 6054. Or visit our website at mcwe.com. If you like, you may send your love gift to the address on the screen. Don't hesitate. Stand and defeat Satan today. Morris Cirillo is excited to announce the return of Helpline Television, available at mcwe.com slash helpline at 6 p.m. Eastern and 3 p.m. Pacific. Then on Sundays at 6 p.m. Eastern time, visit us for one hour of victory today at mcwe.com slash victory. Thank you for watching Morris Cirillo on Victory Today. For more information, call the number on your screen or write to us at P.O. Box 85277, San Diego, California, 92186.